Our topic this morning is saying the snare is broken. I have escaped. Before we refer to the scripture, where that is coming from, let's see the meaning of escape. Because the topic is saying the snare is broken and I have escaped. Right, so what is the meaning of escape? To escape is to break free from confinement or from control. Right. What, what was interesting when I was preparing this was that I also checked the opposite of the word escape. The opposite of the word escape is to suffer, to be imprisoned, to be captured. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that is the opposite of escape. Hallelujah. So there are so many things that are causing us to suffer. Hallelujah. It means we haven't escaped from those ones, from the grip of those things. There are things that are imprisoning us. It means we have not yet escaped from those things. There are so many things that, are, that they have captured us or captured certain areas of our lives. It means those areas have not yet escaped if we are still having some ailment somewhere, it means we need to escape from the grip of sickness and disease. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we are still in lack and want, it means we have to escape from the grip of want and poverty and shortages in the mighty name of Jesus. And God is available to cause us to escape in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So if there are some things that are not right in our lives, it means we have to escape in the name of Jesus. We have to declare that we are our freedom. We have to declare our freedom from all those that are trying to keep us imprisoned. Those that have captured us or captured those areas, we need to rebel in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So now, in Psalms 124, it says, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side when men rose up against us, then they would have quickly swallowed us up alive when their anger or their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters would have overwhelmed us and swept us away. The torrent would have gone over us. Then the proud waters would have gone over us. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. Hallelujah. We are like a bird escaped from the snare of the fowlers. Hallelujah. And then he says now, the snare is broken and we have escaped. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. It says, our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. So the help of God is available to cause us to escape from whatever enemy has captured us. Whatever enemy witchcraft power that has imprisoned us or imprisoned certain areas of our lives. Yes, God is available to cause us to escape. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Right. So I wrote some few notes right here, and I need to read them so that I, I don't go, go this way or that way. Go straight to the point. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So there is a power of escape. There is a power to escape that comes from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a power of a blessing that comes from God that causes us to escape. The blessing of the Lord when you are blessed, when I am blessed, it means I am empowered. We are all empowered to prosper. Blessing means to bless is to empower to prosper. It means, yes, we are given the power to go forward in whatever programs or plans that we have. 
in the name of Jesus. If it is a marriage, it is empowered to prosper. It means it's going, it's thriving. People are enjoying one another as men and, and, and women, husband and wife. Hallelujah. It's, it's, it's children, yes, we are enjoying our children. If it is our houses, the houses, the good houses that God is giving us, we are enjoying to live in those houses. If it is our cars, we are driving those cars in peace and joy. And we are worshipping God in those cars. And we are driving our families to church or to some places which glorify God. Hallelujah. We are empowered to prosper. Hallelujah. If, and you, you heard that that scripture is referring to a bed. Verse 7, he says, We are like a bed that has escaped from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. So if a bed does not gather enough escape velocity, there is a, what, a word which I just discovered, which is called escape velocity. Hallelujah. Escape velocity. So the thing that makes a bed safer from its predators or predators is the escape velocity. Right. If the bed is slow, it will be caught or it will be hit by a missile. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. If a bird does not gather enough escape velocity, it will be caught by its predators. Hallelujah. The reason why missiles and bullets are dangerous in conventional warfare is because of, of their attack speed. Hallelujah. The attack speed of a bullet. A bullet is shot. A missile is released. It's going at a tremendous speed towards the target. Right? The target is going to be hit because the target is failing to have an escape velocity to run away from the missile. Hallelujah. Right? Now, we are going to pray that God may empower us like an eagle. In the name of Jesus, that we may mount up with wings as an eagle above all challenges, that we may have the escape velocity, which a chicken does not have. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm going to run away from those terms in a very short time. Hallelujah, because it might be too much, right, for, for one or two people. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. So the reason why the missiles and the bullets are dangerous in conventional warfare is because of their attack speed. It is greater than the escape velocity of their targets. Hallelujah. The reason why a witch and a wizard are dangerous entities is because they have the ability to get into the spirit realm with neck break speed. Hallelujah. Neck break speed. They can get into the spirit realm and then they start to co collaborate with evil spirits, principalities, and powers. And then they start to do evil things on a Christian, on a slumbering Christian. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. So why? Because they're using speed. And now the target is a sleeper. The target is, 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 is no speed at all. Is stagnant. Stagnated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right now, but prayer gives us an escape speed and velocity that propels us into the spirit realm, and we start to launch raids and counter attacks against the serpent and the scorpion. In the name of Jesus, say, Get away, Satan, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah! 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 So, so by prayer, our prayers they give us some power to get into the spirit realm. Because you know it's a spiritual warfare. We are not fighting against flesh and blood. We are fighting against despotisms in high places. We are fighting against uh, satanic powers uh, in high places. Uh, rulers of darkness uh, in high places. Uh, right now, when we pray the correct prayer, the effectual fervent prayer or the fire prayer, then we are given power to get into the spirit far above all these principalities and powers. We are going further up 
the powers, the principalities and powers that are in the second heaven. But when we pray the correct prayer, we start to operate from the third heaven, which is higher than the second heaven. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the enemy's aim is to make sure that a, pray, the, a Christian does not pray an effectual fervent prayer. Hallelujah. Let me go back to my notes. I don't want to miss anything. It says now, but prayer gives us escape speed and velocity that propels us into the spirit realm and we start to launch raids and counter attacks against the serpent and the scorpion. Hallelujah. So we need to pray a prayer that will launch us into the orbit of our destinies. Right? Once we break free from the hold of witchcraft powers, far above principalities and powers, now we start to, 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 to glide or to just move in, our, in the orbit of our destiny, in dominion, in full victory over the enemy. Just, just knocking down any obstacles, anything that the enemy is bringing against our lives. Hallelujah. So we need to pray an effectual fervent prayer that causes us to outmaneuver the witches and wizards in the mighty name of Jesus. You hear, I've just introduced another word to outmaneuver the witches and the wizards in the mighty name of Jesus. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 55 says, O oh death, where is your sting? O oh grave, where is your victory? Hallelujah. So death or the sting of death was outmaneuvered by the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. It couldn't have any hold. It was outsmart, outsmart, <laughs> outsmart, smitted. what is it? Hallelujah. It was, it was outwitted. The sting of death was outwitted. The grip of the grave could not hold Jesus Christ because it was outmaneuvered by the resurrection power that was working on Jesus Christ. And that, that resurrection power is working within you and within me. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The sting of death is sin. So now the blood of Jesus gives us the power to outmaneuver the sting of death. In the name of Jesus. Right. So we escape from the sting of death because of the blood of Jesus. Because of the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. So it's necessary for us to pray an effectual fervent prayer. A fire prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. So that we outmaneuver all what the devil is doing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So now, the, the, the psalmist, who is David, is saying now, the snare is broken, and I am escaped. And the snare is broken, and how have I escaped? It's because now I have power to outmaneuver the snare of the fowler. I have, I have the power now to outmaneuver, to outwit the enemy who is coming against me. So they, they might try to put snares and traps here and there, but by my God, I break through a troop. By my God, I leap over a wall. It is the Lord that makes, that goes before me he, to cause me to outmaneuver the enemy, to outwit the enemy. You remember the Bible tells us that uh, the Lord, the word, the precepts of God, uh, they make me wiser than my enemies. Hallelujah. The precepts of the Lord, they make me wiser than my teachers, my instructors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we have got power to outwit the enemy, to outmaneuver the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So our souls, our spirits, our lives, our destinies have escaped from the snare of the fowler. Let's see. In two minutes, if I can fly through this. Hallelujah. In Genesis chapter 27, we read about Esau and Jacob. 
Jacob escaped from death. Right? If Esau had managed to kill Jacob because Jacob had swindled, had swindled the birthright from his brother. Right? If Esau had managed to kill Jacob, it means Judah was not going to be born. And we know that Judah is the, the forefather of David. And we know that David is termed, is said to be the father of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now the plan of God could have been destroyed, but there was an escape. Now your destiny, your life is linked to some destinies. You, we cannot afford to fail, ladies and gentlemen. We cannot afford to give up. We cannot afford to just think about ourselves only. Our destinies are linked to some other people in the name of Jesus. There is someone whom you have to encourage to pray so that they realize their own destinies in the mighty name of Jesus. There is someone whom you have to pray for that has to realize their own destinies and affect other destinies in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If Esau had managed to kill Jacob, there was not going to be David. There was not going to be Judah. There was not going to be, you know, that, that program of God to bring himself to the earth could have been tempered with. But Jacob escaped. Hallelujah. And we know how he escaped also from his father-in-law, Laban, the, 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 the occultic father-in-law. Hallelujah. How do I know that he was occultic? In Genesis, you read it in Genesis chapter 30. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Laban said to him, if I have found favor in your sight, verse 27, I pray you do not go for I have learned by experience and from the omens in divination that the Lord has favored me with blessings on your account. Hallelujah. And he said, Take your salary and I'll give it to you. Jacob answered to him, You know how I have served you and how your possessions, your cattle and your sheep, your goats have fared with me. For you had little before I came and it has increased and multiplied abundantly and the Lord has favored you with blessings wherever I tend. But now, when shall I provide for my own house also? Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. We need to declare enough is enough. Enough is enough of the oppression of Laban. Enough is enough of the oppression of anything that wants to subjugate us and suppress us and depress us and abuse us. Anything, anything coming from the devil, we need to, to declare war against it and overcome it and and free ourselves and escape from the grip of the enemy and escape from the grip or to escape from the snare of the fowler in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, what are we escaping from? From failure at the age of breakthrough, confusion, backwardness, frustrations, hardships, confusions, suicidal tendencies, yes, substance abuse, alcohol, sexual perversions, anger, Bitterness, envy, jealousy, evil thoughts, witchcraft, low self-esteem, all the things that the devil has planted in our lives, we are escaping from them. And how are we doing it? By praying an effectual fervent prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. The effectual fervent prayer is going to give us an escape speed that is going to cause us to outmaneuver what the enemy is doing. In the name of Jesus, the effectual fervent prayer, the fire prayer is going to cause us to have this escape speed that is going to cause us to outwit the enemy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Hallelujah. I just, I just cut it short. Hallelujah. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Make me a child of God. Lord Jesus Christ, Forgive me of every sin and every transgression. Lord Jesus Christ, I need you in my life. I receive you as my King and my Savior. I know you died for me on the cross. You shed your blood on the cross 
So wash me from inside, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ, take permanent residence in my life. You Satan and your demons, I reject you. I'm no longer yours. I don't belong to you anymore. I'm tired of your deceptions. Get away from my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I now belong to Jesus. Jesus is my king and my savior from today forever. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So now, if we fail to get the escape speed, we'll be frustrated with our Christianity. This is where many people are frustrated, ladies and gentlemen. This is how a Christian is compromising. This is how a Christian is going backwards instead of going forward. Why? Because they are praying some prayers and the prayers are not making any difference. They are not changing anything. So now the, the attacks of the enemy is so much. And then they start to seek for help from somewhere else. Say, get away, Satan. In the name of Jesus. We need to pray the correct prayer, ladies and gentlemen. We need to pray a prayer that will cause us to have an escape speed. That will cause us to be to mount up with wings as an eagle. That will cause us to go above all what the enemy is doing. In the mighty name of Jesus. That you will never be confused again. That you will never lay any blame on God. That the things that are coming to you are coming from God. You will never be confused. In the name of Jesus. We we'll put on our whole armor, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, and the shoes of the pre -pre preparation of the gospel of peace, the belt of truth, the sword of the spirit, and the shield of faith to quench every fiery dart. All the strategies of the enemy, they are quenched by the, the shield of faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Right, so we need to go forward. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us pray right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Holy Spirit, help me to pray. Holy Ghost, I need you to, to help me. Anoint my life. That I may pray a prayer that will propel me above all what I am facing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I need your power. I need your anointing. Holy Spirit, anoint me. That I may be propelled into the spirit realm, far above principalities and powers, far above all the deceits and all the strategies of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, say anointing for victory, fall upon me now. Say anointing for progress, fall upon me now. Anointing for victory, fall upon me now. Be activated in my life. Say fresh oil of the Holy Spirit. Yes, be activated in my life that I may pray a victory prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say every soul tie and every evil covenant with the spirits of my dead grandfather, I command you to be broken by the blood of Jesus. Every soul tie and evil covenants with the spirits of my dead grandmother, be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Every soul tie with the spirits of my dead grandfather, my dead grandmother, be broken into pieces by the blood of Jesus. Every soul tie with the spirits of my dead uncle, yes, be broken by the blood of Jesus. Say every soul tie with the occultic uncles, with the occultic aunts, I command you uh, to be destroyed uh, by the blood of Jesus. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, say every soul tie uh, with the custodian uh, of family gods uh, in my life. Uh, be destroyed uh, by the blood of Jesus. Uh, every soul tie, you know, you know a soul tie? A soul tie is an emotional attachment. It's a strong emotional attachment that some people are emotionally attached uh, to the village. They are emotional at something is pulling them back to the village all the time. And even they are gripped by, they have a soul type, they have an emotional attachment with someone who is dead, with their mother, who is late, 
with their father, who is later, with their uncle, that is later, with some dead people, an emotional, a strong emotional attachment that has to be destroyed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, you have no relationship with anyone who is dead. In the mighty name of Jesus, if the enemy comes now to try and come a flood and get entry into your life and sabotage everything about you, in the name of Jesus, so every evil, every evil covenant, any soul tie, any strong emotional attachment to anyone that is dead, it has to die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Say every soul tie with the spirits of my dead grandfather, I command you to be broken by the blood of Jesus. Every soul tie with my dead grandmother, I command you to be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Every soul tie with my dead father, with my dead mother, with my dead uncle, with my dead auntie, I command you to be broken by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, say every decision, every decision, every vow, every promise that was made by my forefathers, that is affecting my life and my destiny. I command you to be nullified by the blood of Jesus. Say any evil decision, any evil vow, any evil promise made by my forefathers on my behalf. Yes, I command you to be destroyed, be nullified by the blood of Jesus. Any evil decision, any evil vow, any evil promise made by my forefathers on my behalf and now fighting my destiny and now fighting my progress in life and now fighting my health and now affecting my finances and now affecting my marriage and now affecting my children. I command you to be nullified by the blood of Jesus. Any vow, any promise that was made to an idol, that was made to any power by my forefathers, now affecting my life. I cancel you by the blood of Jesus. I cancel you by the blood of Jesus. I cancel you by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, any promise that was made by my father to upon his shrine on an evil altar against my life, I command it to be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, any promise that was made to any God, to any, any ancestral demon, to any idol, yes, of my forefathers, I command it to be nullified by the blood of Jesus. Be nullified by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, say every legal ground that the ancestral or, or guardian spirits are are using against my life be destroyed by the blood of Jesus legal ground that ancestral spirits and guardian spirits are using against my life be destroyed by the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus legal ground that the ancestral demons familiar spirits are using against my life be destroyed by the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Say every generational curse affecting my life because of idolatry in my ancestry be nullified by the blood of Jesus. Generational curses affecting my life because of idolatry in my ancestry be nullified by the blood of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus, any curse of poverty, any curse of stagnation, any curse of frustration, any curse of hardship, any curse of backwardness, any curse of back to square one that was pronounced upon my ancestry, I command it to be nullified by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, any curse that is working against my life because of idolatry in my ancestry, be nullified by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, say every ancestral altar 
that is thriving and prospering at my expense, catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Every ancestral altar thriving and prospering at the expense of my health, catch fire and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Every ancestral altar that is thriving and prospering at the expense of my marriage, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Every ancestral altar that is thriving and prospering at the expense of my business, at the expense of my finances, at the expense of my peace, at the expense of my children, I command you to be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Be destroyed, burn to ashes now, catch fire and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Say ancestral altars that are thriving and prospering at my expense. You are a liar. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Ancestral altars that are thriving and prospering at my expense, at the expense of my destiny, at the expense of my going forward, at the expense of my destiny, at the expense of my marriage, at the expense of my children. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Satanic altars, ancestral altars, that are thriving, that are prospering at my expense. You are a liar. Catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Any altar in my neighborhood that is thriving and prospering at the expense of my destiny, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Any altar, any satanic altar, that is thriving and prospering at the expense of my business, of my career, of my education, yes, of my shining, of my glory. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. Catch fire and burn to ashes. Catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, any altar in the village that is thriving and prospering at the expense of my health, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. Any satanic altar from my father's house that is causing me to be poorly, that is causing sickness and disease in my life, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, any satanic altar from my mother's house, from my grandmother's house, that is causing misfortunes, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, any witchcraft altar that is affecting, yes, my glory and my shining, my peace and my joy, that is affecting my marriage, that is causing me not to get married, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus, say any demonic altar, any witchcraft altar, any shrine that is causing me not to be married, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Any demonic altar that is causing me not to enjoy my marriage, you are a liar. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Any demonic altar in my village, in my mother's house, in my father's house, that is causing me not to enjoy my life, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, any satanic altar in my territory, in my environment, in the forest, in the graveyard, that is speaking death to whatever I am doing, I command them to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, any demonic altar under the sea that is causing me yes, to lose important things, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. Any satanic altar that is causing me to lose important relationships, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say every problem 
I am going through because of evil sacrifices ever offered by my family on my behalf, being nullified by the blood of Jesus. Any problem that I'm going through because of evil sacrifices ever offered by my family on my behalf, being nullified by the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, any problem with my health that is caused by sacrifices offered on my behalf by my family, be destroyed by the blood of Jesus, problems with my finances, coming from evil sacrifices, be destroyed by the blood of Jesus, problems with my children, problem with my marriage, problem with my business, with my finances, that is coming from evil sacrifices ever offered by my family on my behalf, let them be destroyed now by fire. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, say any blood of an animal, any blood of a human being has been shed by my ancestors crying against my destiny. I command you to be silenced by fire. Be silenced by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is no blood that just goes up. You remember God saying the blood of your brother Abel is crying from the ground. The blood cries. Right. So our forefathers are, are not innocent. We know some of our fathers, forefathers, they were chiefs, they were very strong men. Very strong men. Very strong men owning several women and mothers, rather, mothers, right? And, and owning vast lands, vast expanses of land, owning important real estate. Hallelujah. And they built some monuments, some important structures. They were strong. But all those things were done not, not innocently. People died in the process. People died. Right now, you got, got the... Say any blood of an animal, any blood of a human being shed by my ancestors that is crying against me, crying against my destiny, be silenced by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, any blood of a human being that was shed by my ancestors and now crying against my destiny, I command you to be silenced by fire. Be silenced now by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, say I separate myself from any evil covenants of my ancestors. I separate my life with the blood of Jesus from any evil vows, from any evil contracts of my fathers, of my forefathers, of my ancestors. In the name of Jesus, say any blood of a human being that was shed by my ancestors and now crying against my life, now I Affecting my destiny, I command you to be silenced by the blood of Jesus. Be silenced by the blood of Jesus. Be silenced by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, say any curse placed on my family line by anyone that was cheated or mistreated by my ancestors. Break now by the blood of Jesus. There are so many stories. No time for stories now. We have run out of time. Hallelujah. Say any curse that was placed on my family line by anyone cheated, mistreated, abused by my ancestors. Break now by the blood of Jesus. Say every evil river flowing down to me from my foundations. Dry now by fire in the name of Jesus. Evil rivers that are flowing down to me from my foundations. Dry now by fire, evil rivers uh, that are flowing down to me, uh, trying to overflow me, uh, trying to overwhelm me uh, with problems. Uh, I command you uh, to dry up now by fire. In the name of Jesus, uh, say every evil, uh, ancestral habit uh, and weakness uh, of moral failures uh, are manifesting uh, in my life. Uh, release me now by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, Say every evil, ancestral habit, and weaknesses of moral failure, moral failure, 
manifesting in my life. Uh, release me now uh, by the blood of Jesus. Uh, release me now uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, say every rage, uh, every rampage uh, of ancestral and demonic spirits uh, because of my violent prayers uh, be quenched now uh, by the blood of Jesus. Uh, be quenched now uh, by the liquid fire of God uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every rage, uh, every rampage uh, of demonic spirits uh, because of my violent prayers uh, be quenched now uh, by the liquid fire of the Holy Ghost uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, say I recover everything uh, stolen from me uh, by ancestral and demonic spirits uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, say I recover every good thing uh, that was stolen from me uh, by ancestral and demonic spirits uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus, say every ancestral embargo, ancestral embargo, placed upon my life, uh, be lifted now uh, by the blood of Jesus. Uh, every ancestral embargo, any witchcraft embargo, any demonic embargo, placed upon my life, uh, be lifted now uh, and let good things uh, begin to break forth. Uh, let good things uh, begin to manifest uh, in my life. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, say I decree in my heart. Uh, I confess with my mouth uh, divine favor upon me, divine progress in my life, uh, divine blessings in my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I decree in my heart. Uh, I confess with my mouth uh, that I'm the head, uh, I'm not the tail, uh, I'm on top, uh, I'm not below, uh, I'm above, uh, I'm not beneath. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I decree in my heart. Uh, I confess with my mouth. Uh, I receive uh, divine connections. Uh, I receive uh, divine contacts. Uh, I receive uh, divine links. Uh, I receive uh, divine restoration. Uh, I receive uh, divine breakthroughs. Uh, I receive uh, divine open doors. Uh, I receive uh, divine favor. I receive uh, divine blessings. Uh, I receive uh, divine healing. Uh, I receive uh, divine health. Uh, I receive uh, divine promotion. Uh, I receive uh, divine elevation. Uh, I receive uh, divine recovery. I receive uh, divine acceptance. Uh, I receive uh, divine ideas uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I decree my heart. Uh, I confess with my mouth uh, that I'm healthy, abundantly healthy. I am rich, uh, abundantly rich. Uh, I'm successful, abundantly successful. I'm prosperous, uh, abundantly prosperous. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, say I cover myself up. Uh, with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself up with the blood of Jesus. I cover everything that concerns me with the blood of Jesus. I cover everything that concerns me with the blood of Jesus. Say witchcraft chains that were working against me. You are broken forever by the blood of Jesus. Evil covenants that were working against me. You are nullified by the blood of Jesus. Say any cases that were working against me, you are nullified forever by the blood of Jesus. Any ex, any jinx, any spell, incantations, enchantments, divinations against my life, you are nullified forever. You are cancelled forever by the blood of Jesus. You are cancelled forever by the blood of Jesus. Say manifest now my divine way forward. Manifest now my divine progress. Manifest now my divine direction. Manifest now my divine instructions. Manifest now my divine knowledge. Manifest now my divine wisdom. Manifest now my divine understanding. Manifest now my divine glory. Manifest now my divine shining. Manifest now my divine victory. Manifest now my divine courage. Manifest now my divine power. Manifest now my divine favor. Manifest now my divine blessings. Manifest now my divine riches. Manifest now my divine career. Manifest now my divine business. Manifest now my divine education. Manifest now my divine breakthroughs. Manifest now my divine healing. Manifest now my divine health. Manifest now 
Manifest now. Manifest now. Manifest now. Manifest now. Manifest now. Manifest now. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus that it's your God who empowers us and we are going forward by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for giving us the power to walk in the wilderness, the way that you've made in the wilderness. Thank you for giving us the power to drink from the rivers that you've opened in the desert. We thank you for your empowerment, Lord. All the glory and the honor be unto you. We cover our prayers with the blood of Jesus. Thank you that you are there to answer our prayers all the time. We worship your name, Father, forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray.